it going boys? Welcome everybody back to another video and welcome to the third and final play review of the day. So today we've done 50 player picks, we've done a Fulgen Hazard review, we've done an Ericsson Objectives Guide, we've done a Zakaria uh, Path to Glory review and now we're doing a Path to Glory Golovin review. Now this card I'm actually really interested in because I believe his base card is a right back and the beauty of this card is look how versatile he can be for only 110,000 coins. Obviously Russia not a bad team. I haven't seen their group, and once again, he's another card that could be cheap, like um, Zakaria, because they're not expected to get out of a group. But I'm having a look at their group here. So I've got okay. So it's Russia, Belgium, Finland, and Denmark. I feel like out of a lot, Russia will finish third or fourth. Obviously, Belgium is coming top. I think Denmark will get second. I think it'll be between Finland or Russia, and I think Russia versus Finland, Russia. Uh, against Finland is a must win for them because obviously uh, four out of the six third place teams go through So I feel like for them to go through they need to beat uh, Denmark and obviously they have to for the upgrade you need three wins for the uh, four plus two upgrade lads So you need they need to beat Denmark But they have to beat the round of 32 opponent and they'd have to beat the round of 16 or the round of 64 is it? Or no round of 32 and the round of 16 opponent so I can't lie, lads. It's looking quite unlikely Russia will get three wins, meaning I do not think he will get the plus two upgrade. But that is just me. Who knows? Football is full of surprises, and it is a beauty of it. But boys, coming in at 110,000 coins, we've got a card that's 5'11". Perfect work rate. It's high medium. He's four-star, four-star, which is fine. He's absolutely rapid. But one annoying thing, it happens with lots of cards, 91 acceleration and 99 sprint speed. But 95 pace is fine. Now, his shooting is solid. Um, we've gone for a marksman, which I feel like is perfect. We're going to be playing him right wing in game but as I said the beauty of him literally if you want to play him center mid chuck a sentinel if you want to play him right back chuck a sentinel if you want to play him as a CDM chuck an, uh, probably a sentinel as well so if you want to play him defensively or as a box to box center mid uh, like ge genuinely chuck a sentinel on him you're sorted you could play him as a cam if you play him as a cam I'd probably go for a marksman um, I probably wouldn't put him as a striker but if you really wanted to pro probably go for a finisher or a sniper um, like I said this is a team we're playing him boys we're going to be playing him as a right wing in game so this is actually the the lineup in game so with a plus 10 finishing boost with the marksman he goes to 95 finishing 99 shot power 99 long shots his dribbling is very solid he's already got 94 agility 88 balance isn't spectacular but it's solid and at 87 composure as well is nothing great in front of goal he may not be the most composed player but other than that his defending like i said very well rounded physical he's got 99 aggression and 99 stamina which is insane and the marksman boost gives him a plus 10 strength putting him to 87 strength sadly he does not have any traits now ladies what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you guys a custom tactic so in game i'm just going to keep it 4 free, free give it a go now we're going to have him on cut inside get in behind and get into the box exact same for attacking cut inside get in behind and get into the box easy cut inside obviously you'll be running in making runs um, from out wide into the middle get in behind he'll also be making runs in behind the defense and get into the box if say nanny or mbappe have the ball Galavin will drop back into the box for for the ball literally perfect very very good right wing and like i said very versatile card, only 110k as well. Cheap beast, let's find out. Let's get into the game, boys. So as you know from my past videos, um, it's currently 9.30 in the morning in New Zealand and sadly once my skill rating is so high of 2,100 I cannot record a review in Division Rivals. So usually I do my reviews in Division Rivals or Foot Champs and sadly I'm not playing Foot Champs this week. I might on my on my other account later tonight on stream um, but on this account I'm not playing Foot Champs I didn't qualify um, and also like 2,100 skill rating will take an hour to find a match. So we are facing a good mate of mine. Um, if you missed last video we, we faced, I think I won 4-2, it was a very naked neck game, um, he also he won the last game too, no, actually no, I was helping him to cheat to never mind, um, but as you can see, it's, it's actually a very, very fair matchup, he's a gold 2 player, so I thought, let's get my mate in here, I can't play rivals, and obviously I didn't qualify for champs, so there's always a solution, this is a tight match, I was sweating my ass off last time, let's see what Golovin has got. Not a very convincing start from Hull on on Hullet's end, but you know, just putting pressure on with him. He's five foot ten, I believe, right? So he's not the tallest, but he he genuinely, you know, when players feel or are sometimes very tall, they don't feel great on the ball. That should not be an issue for Golovin. I actually didn't check his body type, but by the seams of it, it seems like it's either an average or a lean. I feel like it's a lean body type. So Golovin making that run. He's gotten himself onside. Good football with Hullet. Push off the ball. Nothing given. Okay. Go on, Bruno. Golovin making that run in. I'm going to sweep that across to Mbappe. Oh my god, so close to an assist there. I should have gone uh, near post instead of far post as my opponent's keeper was going that way. So close to an assist there. Beautiful run and beautiful ball into Mbappe, which couldn't finish it. Unlucky, man. Unlucky. 
Promising start though. Let's just say that. A very promising start from him. We're definitely going 1-0 down here, man. Bring him out. Alright. Fuck. Game on, boys. 1-0 down. Game is on, baby. Back on. Hey, he's onside. We like that. Golovin. Dude, he feels really good. Oh, he loses the ball there. He feels really good on the ball, though. Really, really good on the ball. And a good thing with him as well. He's got the high, medium work rate, so he can drop back. He'll be all over the pitch, boys. There we go. That's that get into the box, which is class. Golovin with a touch. Need that dribbling. He's still going, and he does get tackled at the end there. Very unlucky. Um, honestly, I feel like he feels really good, but you can notice that 88 balance. His agility is on the ball. Movement is incredible, but you can notice that 88 balance. Golovin, there we are. Very lovely Ronaldo chop. He's offering a lot going forward right now as well. I feel like if you do play him right back, once he's so attacking, he will, you know, spring it. Especially if you do play him right back. If you have him on overlap, he will offer so much going forward. Wow. 2 0 down, boys. This is not good. This is not good. Go on, Golovin wins it back. Go on through them all. Is that a penalty? I don't know how, but we've gotten a penalty, boys. Golovin on it, right? So he's got, he hasn't got great pins. You know what? I'm not going to risk it. We're going to put Bruno on, all right? I'm not going to risk it with Golovin, man. There we go. 2 1, boys. We're back in the game. We're back in the game, baby. We weren't going to risk it because he's only got 70 pins. Like, his power stat's insane. His free kick is insane. His curve stat's insane. We're not going to risk it with his uh, 70 penalties, though, man. Go on, Golovin. Once again, drop back for that. It's huge. Pull it around, pull it, finish, here we go, back in it again. Is that a goal of an assist as well? I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's a goal of an assist. Right, boys, so going into the half with 3-2 down. Honestly, I can't lie, we don't deserve to be winning. This formation I'm not getting along with, so we're going to go to a 4 triple 2 right? We're going to go to a 4 triple 2 and we're going to make him a right cam. But so far, so good. I believe he's picked up an assist. If it did count as assist, I could be wrong, though. No. Uh, right, we'll do that. We'll sub pull it off for... We'll bring on, we'll bring on, there we go, we'll do that. Why not, boys? Why not? I actually want to see if that counted as an assist for that Hullet goal. I could be wrong here, but I'm pretty sure he already has an assist to his name. Yeah, he's man of a match right now of an 8.1, which is incredible. No, he didn't get an assist. Sorry, I thought he did. But either way, boys, let's get into the next one. It's right, next half. I'm going to say next game. Let's get into the next half. Go on, Golovin's there for it. Golovin with a shot, and it's saved by Courtois, man. Unlucky. Unlucky. Really good positioning, though. Go Insigne, there we go boys, 3-3 free, free in the 85th minute, this is, oh my god, this game is fucking tight, from 2-0 down, Jesus Christ mate, Jesus Christ, I can't lie as well boys, Golovin has had nothing to do much this half, because I'm a very one-sided player, so I play on one certain side, like this half I'm playing a lot on the left side, um, so yeah, that's why we haven't got too much clips with them, but yeah. Oh, and he's cutting in as well. Just keep an eye on his movement. I'm trying to get the last attack here, boys. In. In. Go on, Mbappe. Go on. Through them all. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Nanny. Oh, in the last minute. In the last minute. <laughs> what a game. And what a result. Nanny in the last minute. From 2-0 down. Holy shit, that's some cheese. I am so sorry to Toby, who is the mate I'm playing. That is some cheese there, and it's worked out for our favour, boys. Wow. Happy, happy days. I mean, a solid performance from Golovin. He was obviously a little bit quiet in the second half, but what I've got from him is he's very good going forward, but he's also very good defensively. He's a proper box-to-box. -box. Absolutely sensational card. Let's hop over to the overall ratings out of 10 and the pros and cons. Let's go, boys. So overall, I found he was actually a very solid card. As I said, as a right winger, he worked perfectly. His runs in behind were perfect. But also, I did notice a lot with the high medium work rates, that is ideal. Now, he's 5'11", and he doesn't feel great on the ball. Like, the 94 agility, um, his, his 89 ball control, which goes to 99 ball control with a marksman. His on-the-ball dribbling, or the ball on the feet, his dribbling is phenomenal. But being 5'11", with 88 balance, his turning's not great. Now, he has got the lean body type. 
type, which I've just checked. And yeah, his lean body type, he doesn't feel 5'11", and that's what happens when you do have a lean body type. He's, he's like 94 agility, lean body type, he feels really good in that sense. But the 88 agility and 5'11", although he doesn't really feel it, um, he's not the most responsive card, you know, like left stick dribbling on him like it would be with a Neymar is nowhere near as our overpowered. As for passing, perfect. Passing was his best stat without a doubt. Work rates as well. His pace, he's absolutely rapid. Now shooting, we actually didn't really have to test out too much, and especially as a right wing you don't really buy a right wing to score goals like you occasionally do and in front of me I'm sure Golovin can actually bag it away um, now for the positions he can play the good thing about this card is he can play right wing I mean he's 4 star 4 star so he can play left wing he can play left mid right mid right cam left cam central cam anywhere in the center mids he can play CDM he can play right back and like I said I mean he's 4 star weak foot you can play him left back if you want to the only places I'd avoid is probably center back honestly you could get away with playing him center back but no I mean um, it's just not great 85 defensive awareness, too weak for a centre back. But I feel like the only places you couldn't play him would be a centre back, obviously goalie, but a centre back. And I probably wouldn't want to play him as a striker. The 87 composure isn't quite enough for a striker, in my opinion. And sadly, this year, there's no Kim Stolbeck gets the composure boost up. The fact he's only 100,000 coins, though, really does bring that value rating up. If you guys don't know, we give him a performance rating and a value rating, then an overall. So his performance rating on how he performed for me, he's going to get a nice solid 8. And for his value rating we're going to go ahead and we're going to give him an 8.5 because he's very cheap and I can't lie lads I, I do not count on Russia getting the free wins I personally do not think he will get an upgrade um, but still 100,000 coins for this card he'll continue to drop he'll probably be 70k in a week's time so an 8 and an 8.5 his overall rating to date is an 8.25 out of 10 not too shabby and I'm going to give him a tick I'm going to say he's worth it um and like I said, the good thing that makes this card is if you need a right wing, you've got him. If you need a centre mid, if you need a CDM. So he literally can fill anywhere in your team. If you've got a league on team and you need a centre mid, he's your man. If you need a right winger, he's your man. You guys get what I'm saying. Really good, versatile, cheap beast, I would say. Because, I mean, 100k, I guess you couldn't consider that cheap. Anyway, lads, it's been your boy Davis. Hopefully this review did help you out. I'm off to get some sleep because I am shattered. It's 10am and I've, had, I've been up literally all night. So, yeah. See you guys later. Thanks for all the support. Make sure to sub if you do get anything from these reviews and until next time peace out boys